are. So the intentions are 14 feet out. And the design concept behind this is the gate is there, right? 14 feet out. And so we don't want to have any further so trucks constantly snagging and driving on the edge of it. Well, this will be concrete eventually. Not right now. Two foot past each door, then we'll paver that section uh and concrete that down the road this is just 10 yards we won at an auction from a while ago and i uh, just wanted to do could have done pavers out here but i want to do concrete for the monolithic surface for cleaning so we're going to be power washing stuff out here and all that so didn't necessarily want to deal with pavers in this instance in this instance uh whatever so tomorrow morning i'h uh, gonna form up do dowling which when you're and again, folks i am no concrete guy so bear with me here but we're going to dowel these uh five eighths or number number uh number five rebar there i think it is right number five into the uh the concrete there so that keeps your concrete from shifting up or down or pulling away uh otherwise you want to put expansion joint in there right or something that allows for the the freeze thaw contraction or I'm sorry, the, uh, the hot cold expansion of concrete. So we're doweling into the building there and the rest of this pad floats. I've never fully understood that. That's, I'm just not a concrete guy in that regard. Uh, in our commercial stuff, we dowel everything because it's spec. Uh, but with this being fixed here to essentially a non uh, frost susceptible uh, floor, but this is out here, theoretically the end of this pad does this. Maybe somebody can explain to me the difference or whatever, because this is this is not on frost footing pylons. Again, we're in Ohio, so the last time we had a 36 inch deep frost, I blizzard is 78. I don't know. So no one even alive. So that being said, anyways, form up tomorrow, inch and a half a drop on here, which is about a percent and a half a slope, give or take. Um, I got to put. I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'm gonna cut this and put that down around my downspout thing there to protect that, theoretically. Uh, yeah, lots to do yet. And then I've got mesh, wire mesh, I forget what size, but we're gonna put wire mesh in here for reinforcement. Yeah, I know, rebar's better, blah, blah, spare me. Um, mesh is what I got, mesh is what we're using. So with that said, I'm tired. I'm gonna go home, set up thing. I gotta I got throw one commercial bid out yet tonight, and that's it. So gonna be a short night, I think. I gotta be here pretty daggerly. Concrete's coming at 11. Here we go. Hey folks, welcome to the channel again. Hey, this is good morning. It's Wednesday. Concrete's coming in like an hour and a half. We are this far. Pap is drilling in those uh, those pesky dowels there. Looks pretty good. Form's going up with the laser set slope. Miss Brittany here helping me get this stuff, get these forms up. So. Hey everybody, okay, so just got this done in the nick of time. Our paneling is in, forming is in, form works okay. A little bit of a dip in that one because the dag on board, but got all our dowels in. Um, hot doggy. We'll set up our time lapser here. And there we go. So there's the truck. Oh, don't dump it on the concrete. Okay, so here is the pad and you'll see a time lapse on it. I'll leave by dumping out number nines. Uh, looks pretty good. Makes us want to do the rest of this. Now we'll, like I said, paver in this area here. But uh, 
this is uh this looks okay i think so cool now we're going to take uh an edger and this one is pretty little it's not really going to fit the scale of things but we're going to go through now edge it and i'm going to do saw cut control lines so we're not going to worry about that right now but i'm going I'm to go in and edge it now so i'll show you it's nice to work in when it's wet like this and then we'll uh float it or yeah so then we'll bull float it but you get it worked like this kind of ahead of time then you go back over it again it actually got a nice edge then so that was one thing I this is not a concrete how to no joke so okay so we're gonna go through and do that here we go something real cool here it's uh temperatures dropping rapidly and i don't know if you can see it or not but look at you can see the steam coming off the uh well you could you could see the steam coming off of the concrete there and uh so i'm gonna i i wouldn't worry about it but it's here at the shop i can go ahead and do it pretty easily I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up with uh i've got fr freeze blanket i got blankets up on top of the insulated blankets up on top of the do you see the steam ziggy isn't that cool um isn't that cool so i got blankets up there we're gonna put some blankets down on here and okay so let's do that so instagram has told me how bad of a job we did we got splatter on the building which is a rookie move there um here comes spooky zeke and uh whatever but look at this fog rolling in too like holy cow it's coming across the field like a ghost man that's wild we had actual fog warning for the evening look at it come in here man this is cool um yeah zeke let's set the camera up for this this might be kind of cool um Well, there we go, folks. So that'll trap that heat in there, make it cure better. Dad, oh, thank you, Zeke. Here, put it on here. Put it right here so these folds don't blow up in the air. Nice job, Zeke. Split the gap. Nice job. Okay, well, these are handy. Now you can tell me how much of an idiot I am. Um, you're going to fit through? I don't think that's going to work out. Um, now, I know on the, the black with silver, black goes up 
silver side down orange and black i don't know i'm gonna presume same thing orange side down but i don't know you can tell me and tell me what an idiot i am in concrete okay so too small there we go you won't fit in there zeke no all right but i can sit on it yeah there you go all right so that's it folks we're out of here from uh almond hq and get to like photograph and capture the space um that's just always been my favorite part is just getting to see the spaces and then like get home and look at the photos and be like wow we like we did this project and now i get to use it for advertising and um <clears throat> you know it's it's just always been like one of my favorite parts and so it's just become you know it was always like kind of like a little hobby mostly just for my business like i want to make sure i capture my projects in very high quality, but I also don't want to pay somebody, um, you know, whatever dollar amount to come out to every single one of my projects. Now I can do it on my own. Um, but with that comes a lot of, you know, it's learning another skill and investing in a lot of equipment and, and having the time to go do that. Um, so there's a lot of reasons why, you know, people can't just do that. But for me, it was always a priority.